Hello everyone, this is David Forgach from Solid Technologies and today I would like to talk to you a bit about our perovskite photovoltaics which is inkjet printed on a flexible substrate. Perovskite solar cells have been a scientific sensation since their first discovery in 2009. In a bit more than a decade it managed to already outperform commercially established thin film photovoltaic technologies such as cadmium telluride and CIGS, at least in a laboratory scale, and right now it is getting very close to compete with crystalline silicon. So first I would like to start with a bit of overview what makes this class of materials unique. Well, perovskites have a lot of very interesting properties which actually enabled them to become such an efficient material for energy harvesting. And one of them is having a direct band gap with a very, very strong absorption. And this enables this material to have a very, very thin layer of only a few hundred nanometers uh, to be able to efficiently absorb light, uh, as opposed to, for example, crystalline silicon, which has a weak indirect transition. Uh, and this is basically one of the main reasons why we can use orders of magnitude less material in terms of thickness and still be an efficient material for PV. And this absorption coefficient is actually so high that in most of visible range it's actually better than all the other typical photovoltaic materials used as you can see on this image. And not only that, the absorbed photons create free charge carriers which allows them to be transported easily without extra energy to separate excitons like in the case of OPV uh, to their selective contacts and this results in very low voltage losses which further enhances their power conversion efficiency. And these features combined with the possibility to process them at very, very low temperatures, enables them to be made on ultra-thin substrates, which makes it possible to reach very, very high specific power uh, solar modules. Additionally, perovskite is just a class of materials. You have like three uh, positions in the crystal lattice, which can be all tuned in various composition. It opens up a very broad range of possibilities in the material. You can change the anions and the cations and they will all impact the uh, optoelectronic qualities of the material. So this is a very interesting class of materials. And our company, Saula, was established actually quite in the beginning, the early days when uh, perovskite photovoltaics really started to develop, actually in 2013. Uh, where there were only, let's say, a handful of publications out on this uh, technology. And uh, since then, we were focusing on uh, using this exceptional properties of this material to commercialize it and create something unique. And as you can see, uh, over the years, we've come through a lot of development. In 2014, we literally started with a, a box from IKEA that we created as a glove box. Uh, as you can see, with uh, just some uh, nitrogen airflow flushing through that. And then after our first successful sample creation and fundraising, we were able to build our own laboratories, hired our team. And uh, after a couple of years, actually, we put a lot of effort into developing this technology uh, to upscale it to commercial scale. And in 2021, we were able to open our first uh, pilot production line. And today we are able to inject print perovskite materials on a one meter by one meter area and make hundreds of photovoltaic modules on a basically single substrate. And we use these modules at the moment to mainly power uh, wireless indoor low light applications in our first product, the perovskite electronic shelf table. So here you can see uh, the different kind of modules on the left, uh, just as the photoactive materials are printed, then after encapsulation and patterning and eventually being integrated in a final product. So from the beginning, we were focusing on figuring out uh, how to actually take this technology to large scale and how can we avoid the problems that are there in uh, typically in R&D. So uh, 